All right, we are looking at 1712 Blair Avenue in St. Paul. There it is. There goes a motorcycle. All right, let's go take a look inside. Don't let the fact that it looks like the Amityville Horror House scare you. It's actually pretty nice inside, and so is the neighborhood. Take a look at the uh, adjoining properties here. We're on Blair, um, looking east. A little sidewalk here. Some of the cars in the street. Guy jogging. These houses all look pretty well maintained. These guys have a little sculpture in front of their house. Um, not a bad looking block. Next door, the neighbors have some flowers out. So it's a pretty good looking block here. Um, obviously you can tell from the exterior, it's got a wood exterior with some very flaky paint uh, in parts. Looks like a piece of trim might have had a woodpecker or a bat or some type of creature. Uh, find a little harboring hole in there. Um, we'll check out the exterior and the rear of the property in a minute. Let's go inside here. It does have the uh, registered vacant building notice on it through the city of St. Paul as of March 24th, 2011, so potentially, I'm not sure if that means anything. 266-1929 um, is the number. Let's go inside. Walk into this large front porch, which uh, has uh, some screens and some storm windows in here. Wood ceiling. Doesn't smell bad. It smells like an old cabin. Um, wooden plank floor. Um, fine condition for what it is, um, except for this old flaky paint. We kind of step into the main part of the house. There's a nice uh, wood banister going to the upper level. Um, look around the, where it came in. So it's a door we came in at and we walk into the living room. Pretty good sized living room. Uh, old fashioned carpet on the stairs and some uh, parquet style linoleum on the floor. There's a little coat closet in there and then access to the kitchen on the other side. Um, pretty high ceilings in here. Uh, ceiling fan and then walking, looking at the Room for the other perspective there is the front window to the porch. This is the side window. These windows look to be pretty decent. I'm not sure if you call that original, but I think it is. Um, this house was built in 1908. I'm not sure. They must have been replaced at some time, but just wood sliders, single pane glass with storm windows um, on the outside. Looking back where I came from, there's the window to the porch, the door, the banister, coat closet access to the kitchen. Over here is the uh, dining area. It's got the little uh, bay window on the side. Uh, high ceilings, there's a hole over here. Not sure what that was all about. Maybe some water was getting in. Uh, you can see some moisture stains where the wallpaper's peeled back. Ceiling fan, but pretty good dining room. It's got a uh, pretty worn out original floor, but hopefully resurfaceable and then carpet. Some bedrooms in there. Let's check out the kitchen on the main level. And uh, here's what we got. A sticky tile floor on top of uh, apparently an old linoleum floor. Some great wallpaper. Uh, the cabinets had been here obviously for a long time. Some of the doors are missing and have just been turned into little shelves. Uh, a little window opening there. Uh, ancient like 50s style formica. Um, but floor is relatively level in here. The ceiling's high. Um, and it's not, a I mean, it's a good size kitchen for this house, especially considering there's this dining area over here. Um, here's where the coat closet access is, and then the front room, and we'll check out the basement momentarily. Let's, uh, at the side door, let's head upstairs. Or actually, let's check out the other bedrooms on this level. Two bedrooms on the main level, two bedrooms upstairs. They start here with this little hallway, and they're in the back of the house. Here's the first one, pretty small. It's got the closet over here and a window to the side facing east and a window on the south facing the rear of the property. Um, let's get a look at these windows. Um, you can just see, I mean, these are, these are old. Little single panes of glass just kind of shaking in the frame here, but looks like the storm windows and the screens are still there on the exterior, which is good. So a small bedroom, it's got, it looks like a water stain uh, from upstairs and there's a bathroom generally in that vicinity, so that may have leaked down from uh, one of the pipes feeding that bathroom or one of the faucets or fittings in there. 
Um, and there's another bedroom that faces uh, the south with a window on the west. But look at these closets. I mean, not a, not a bad setup. Somebody probably updated this in the 50s or 60s with the storage and these little slider closet doors. Uh, that's a window to the rear of the property. There's a window to the neighbor on the west side. Let's get a look at that. This little fence between us. These were the people who had the little flower pot outside. A little garden in the back and a little sitting area so the neighbors look nice enough. Um, same situation with the windows. So they're all pretty much like this. Uh, the glass seems to be intact and the storm windows for the most part are there, but just these old wooden sliders. So this room's a little bigger. And Got the old carpet, presumably some some type of maybe hardwood or hardwood plank flooring under here. High ceilings. And it's got uh, another water stain over in this corner with the ceiling. Uh, the rest looks pretty clean. It's got these old fashioned acoustic style tiles there. Here's the bathroom. This is the full bathroom, which is on the main level. Somebody was apparently in the process of possibly fixing up these bathrooms. The sink is gone, or maybe the Fixtures were so bad they needed to be removed. Um, ceramic tub, uh, looks like some fiberglass plastic type inserts for the old shower area. It's old fashioned vanity with the fluorescent stuff and a toilet. Linoleum sticky tile floor, but that's the, the full bath. And there's another bathroom upstairs, we'll see. And in fact, let's head up there. A little coat, coat closet or linen closet here the dining area so walking back here we've got again the kitchen and we're in the formal dining area walking into the front living room and then looking over we're going to be heading up the stairs check out the two bedrooms the bathroom on the upper level so the stairs turn and go from this landing up to Pretty, pretty nice space up here. Not a, not a bad layout for being 103 years old. So here's kind of the first bathroom sit or bedroom situation. I'm not sure if this used to be two bedrooms or what was going on, um, but now it's just kind of one large room. There's the closet. It's got this crazy sticky tile in here, and then a large opening into the other part of the room, which is also kind of small window on the side here so this is the neighboring property over there and here's kind of the odd shaped room that we're standing in hardwood floors potentially throughout this level from this area we're going to look at part of the roof um not i mean this new we've seen worse roofs but this one uh yeah, needs to be replaced and it even looks worse on the south side of the property which we'll see in a minute but a couple windows in here um this random kind of closet. There's another bedroom back here. From the looks of it, this carpet probably covers up more hardwood flooring. This beautiful blue patterned swirly carpeting. Um, this window is not here anymore. So the top half is here, but the glass is broken out. Um, and as is the frame of this lower pane, but the storm window is still intact. So that's, that's not bad. Um, and this room, fairly small. It's got the little closet over there. Good sized ceilings with a ceiling fan. Um, let's take a look at the electrical outlets. So this level, I'm looking at, there's only one outlet in here. It's ungrounded, so just a little two-pronger. Now check out this roof. Here we see um, the roof in worse condition. Apparently the same age as the front, as you can tell by the shingles, but just because this is facing south and southeast um, and southwest over there that it's a little torn, a little torn up. There's a view of the garage, and this is probably the best view we're going to get of the garage roof, so let's look at that. Different shingles done in a different year, and that's actually not a warp. It looks kind of like a warped roof that's just a dirtier area of the roof, probably from the tree dripping down on it. Um, some of the shingles are out of place over there, if you can see. But uh, wood garage, two-car garage, and on the side, it's got a little patio sitting area behind a privacy fence. So um, it's kind of interesting. Maybe something that could be salvaged and worked with. And then it just obviously leaves a very small yard, if we can even see uh, the yard underneath us there. Here's a closet. Um, there's a linen closet, hall closet. Good size. That kind of goes to the roof line of the house. 
And finally, here's the second bathroom, the only other bathroom, full bath. Um, ceramic tub and whatever had been covering the walls has been ripped out. Um, the ceiling looks to be in fine condition. I know vent in here, um, probably plaster walls. And that looks, it's not, it's not real tile. It's just a, like a texturized thing going on. Uh, same type of uh, mirror. The sink's actually in here, but the toilet's not. Um, plumbing's run to it. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let's just check out the electrical plugs in this room. See what they look like. Okay, so not a lot of them. This one over here, ungrounded. There's only one other outlet here on the front. And it does have the third prong for some reason, so. Let's check out the basement. Heading downstairs from the landing. Let's view the front room again. There's a porch in the front room. Nice high ceiling in here. And then we'll just take the shortcut through the coat closet area and see in the basement. And usually I preview these houses before I turn on the camera. Forgot to preview the basement before I came in here. So not sure what we're gonna find. It certainly is scary and cool down here. It smells damp. Don't see any standing water, but it's uh Spacious enough. Looks like there's a light trying to flicker in here. So, ah, yeah, this is a. I guess you know somebody might have at one point used this as a bedroom. Um, just a real damp feeling down here. Um, you can see, just got the uh, stone, concrete stone type foundation that's showing up. There's a floor drain. Wood paneling, I'm not sure what that little pipe service is. And it's got the drop ceiling, and there's the uh, subfloor of the upstairs. Um, that we can see through this low drop ceiling in here. But anyway, uh, I guess I don't see any major issues, although I wouldn't want this to be my bedroom. Looking out over the rest of the basement area, we'll walk over here. Still smells damp, but I'm not seeing any specific water. Oh great, there's some carpeting in this room. I don't know what's going on. The oh, okay. Here's the, uh, the bathroom. And it's got a little, little separate, oh, that is gross. I don't even want to look in there. I don't know what's in there. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm not trying to gross anyone out here, but I'm not sure what that is. It almost looks like it's rat poop or something, but why is it in the toilet unless there's a you bat living right above the toilet up there? I don't know. It's freaking me out. Let's get out of this room here. Carpet. There's a shower. Right on. A little vanity. Um, look at grounded outlet there. And uh, here's a furnace. I don't know if I trust it to work. It says it's been winterized. I do not. There's a water heater over there. Okay. Um, Wet floor that probably should be raised up because it's probably just getting moisture just coming up through the floor. But uh, yeah, so all right, looks like the ducts were clean in October of '89. Okay, and uh, here's another part of the basement. Guess this would have been the laundry, and we do have some water coming here. Right. I don't know where this water is coming from, it's just kind of showing up. It might be actually, it might not be water, but I'll touch it to find out. And it's actually just some type of oily goo that I just touched. So um, there's that. This is like the uh, laundry room area. Light's gonna work for us. And uh, there's a floor drain behind that thing. I don't know. There's this thing. I don't know where the. Um, I can see the warped boards here um, that are probably covering moisture coming in. I don't know where the washing machine and dryer would have drained or vented to, but here's the. Uh, Here's a power plug for, for one of them. Maybe they had one of those outfits that went out the window. Um, and this is the final room. I'm going to try to wrap it up really quick. YouTube's only going to let me go up to 15 minutes. Um, but this is another another room. Again, I don't see any major issues. I'm not sure if those are drains or incoming. Let's take a look at the electrical. Somewhat updated, but the uh, cover plate is not on the, uh, the thing there. So anyway, again, this has been... 1712 Blair Avenue.